Hello guys and welcome to another Status Report highlight for the week of the 20th of October 2014. And to start things off this week, producer Brian Hicks is talking central economy. With the idea of centralised control over both rare items and quantity control over more common items. Bearing in mind that the spawning and respawning of loot is a placeholder system, and the limits of this form are very visible. The team have outlined the following goals for the final functionality. Control over quantity per server instance for rare, high value items e.g. M4A1, SVD, etc. Loot table control per region, area type rather than per building class name. Even distribution of loot economy across the whole of Chernerus. Producer Brian Hicks then goes on to mention that the weekly experimental branch updates will allow them to iterate and volume stress test against a large user base, and reminding us that status reports throughout the remainder of the year will keep people apprised on the progress of the new system. Up next we have lead artist Crystal Chia, which I will quote, This week I'm taking a look at our skybox and lighting settings to see if there is opportunity to improve the experience visually. Particularly at dawn and dusk and night, I'm hoping that we will find a way to add the Milky Way spiral arm visible in the night sky to our game. Work continues on several new character pieces, woman's clothing, prison uniform, medical scrubs, craftable clothing and new zombie types, as well as various environment models which I have mentioned previously. New heli crash sites, objects for the northeast airfield, building signs and other props. The Derringer AK-74M, AKS-74U and MP-133 with pistol grips have all been passed to the animators, designers and sound team for their part to be completed. We are still on course to add 5.45mm ammo and the AK-74 before the end of October. That's all from lead artist Chris Torchia for this week, so let's move on to lead designer Peter. Which again I will quote, the R team has completed several new weapons and delivered the assets to the animation and design teams. One of these new items is quite a special case, which we need to figure out how to do properly and it's a flare gun. So in the meantime you will get other dangerous toys to play with, by the way do you remember that little useful item from the mod which was used to heat yourself up? Character exposure mechanics were expanded again and good old heat pack is back, and it's better than ever. When you use it it starts to produce heat to warm you up as long as the pack lasts. With advanced weather impact we have introduced also something meaningful for shoes you are wearing. But that wasn't enough for us within the scope of survival. Shoes have the potential to become a very important part of your clothing to take care of, as they get damaged, now depending on movement speed, surface type and distance travelled and eventually hurt your feet. Lead designer Peter then goes on to mention the new control system which is currently being worked on, and they have a working prototype of it already. The idea behind the new control system is to make the controlling of your character as fluent as possible, so there will be no immersion breaking due to clunky controls. This new control system will also allow the team to expand melee systems, which the team are considering two types of attacks, fast and charged, or maybe add push instead of a fast attack. But we will have to see how the prototype plays with the server performance and synchronization in general. And finally next time Peter will talk about the new inventory too. And he almost forgot to mention that they spend some time on defining what animal companions should be. But that's something to talk about later. Hope you enjoyed this status report for the week of 20th of October 2014. As always I would recommend you read the status reports in whole yourselves for the full amount of information that it contains. And check out Daisy TV for the latest and greatest Daisy news and information. And I'll see you peeps next time.